Hey guys, and welcome back to Tom Aldi. Uh, so pretty much I done a setup tour a week or two ago, and my setup's actually changed quite a bit since then because uh, I've not really been out, so I've been had the chance to spend more money on stuff that I'm going to be using in my bedroom, such as monitors and keyboards and stuff, stuff where I'd usually spend on cinema or, or whatever else one does when quarantine is not on. So um, yeah, let me just show you around what changed really so firstly this isn't really part of this setup but I done this and I think it's super cute so I wanted to show you I moved my cactuses into a plant pot I made myself so it's blue spray paint and I just made it from scratch myself but spike in the middle and we got uh, Ed here we got Ayn got Jet and we got uh, Faye so I done them so that's spike and code just thought I'd show you that because it's not really part of the setup but I fucking love it anyway so I've got um, Daisy and Billy as well. Yeah. So um, the setup. Um, let's just talk about what's changed. So well, let's talk about what's the same first. So still the same switch down there. I've still got the same uh, PC. So that's just the um, Vega 64 with the Ryzen 7 2700 and the 32 gigs of RAM with the custom paint jobs and stuff that I done myself. So that's all the same. Everything here is the same, like controllers and stuff. But uh, the main thing that's changed anyway is this big boy monitor. So um, I got a new monitor mainly for productivity and gaming. This is a 32 inch uh, monitor that's 75 hertz. It's uh, 1440p or 2K, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, it's an AOC Q3279VWF. And yeah, this monitor is great. I uh, use it for gaming. I use it for uh, video editing. And I've really noticed how good it is with video editing. It's so much nicer using a bigger monitor. So video editing, that boy is really, really good at. And yeah, it's just a nice monitor in general. I definitely recommend it. It's a little bit on the pricey side. Or personally for me on the pricey side, at £200 I paid for it. But a lot of the time, that's cheap for most people. I've still got as my second monitor. This used to be my main monitor. So that's a 1080p monitor, 75 hertz, uh, AM, uh, AOC, what is it? Uh, G2260VW uh, Q6. And that's just a 21 inch monitor. Very good monitor. I'd also recommend that. That goes in around £75 to £100. But yeah. Uh, so let's talk about what's next. I got a new keyboard. And I've actually got one I like now. I've still got the same shitty speakers as well. So this keyboard is a G512 Special Edition. It's got uh, blue mechanical switches by Logitech. They're not the standard blue ones. They're a special uh, blue switch that's only in this keyboard. So they're not Romagees. Uh, but it's a great keyboard. I love it. I've always found it really hard to change the keyboard I'm using. I did have a G213 which is a membrane keyboard for the past three four years now. So I've been using that for literally four three years so it's really hard for me to find a keyboard I like to switch to but I finally found one and I would 100% recommend this keyboard. It's really nice. I got it in a package that was £100 with the keyboard and then this bad boy. It came with a, the package came with a mouse as well so this was £100 and this is a G502 Hero Special Edition. So um, this mouse is awesome, it's really nice ergonomic grip, it's nice and heavy. The last mouse I had was a Razer Def Adder Chroma, which is very light in comparison. And you'll really notice the difference, it's a much better mouse. But uh, one of the really cool things about this is um, scro scroll wheel goes bruh. Like, look how fast that is. I was showing Discord, watch how fast it scrolls. Okay, that wasn't super fast, but that thing goes fast as fuck. But really nice mouse. Uh, this has all got addressable RGB. At the moment, the keyboard has just got each individual key lit differently. So I'm done, obviously, a white and red theme. Keyboard's also following that. All these keys are white. And then the gaming keys, in quotation marks, or the movement keys, are red. And I've done it with the arrows as well to make it so both sides of the keyboard stand out a little bit. So then I also got a new mouse mat as well. So this is just a generic RGB mouse mat. It is by... Re well, I think I paid £18 for this bad boy. You can't really see it right now because it's quite good lighting in the bedroom. It's not the best uh, RGB mouse mat. There's a couple of dead spots. So like here's, there's lights here, here, 
think over here and over there. So sometimes it's a bit in the middle, it gets a little bit dim. That's fine, but um, you just press this button to turn it on and off, and then you can change the RGB. I've got it on white at the moment because, once again, the thing. So that's one of the RGB modes. Blah, blah, blah. It, it's, it works really well at night, it's just during the day it doesn't work that well. Right, it's a nice keyboard, I only paid 18 uh, nice keyboard mat, mouse mat, whatever you want to call it, I only paid £18 for it. So, pretty good price, if you ask me. I don't think anyone did ask me, but sure. Okay, now we go back to white. Another thing I forgot to show you last time in the video is I've got RGB behind the monitor, or key, uh, desk, what do you call it? So if I do this, that turns it off and then back on. And I've got, uh, I can do whatever color I want, blue, red, green. Uh, once again, it doesn't show very well during the daytime, but at nighttime it really pops out, I guess you could say. So that's nice. Uh, I forgot to show you that on the last video. So I keep that on white as well for the color scheme. Turn off the keyboard. Matt. So that's uh, all of that. And then I also got some new tripods because my tripods were broken last time I recorded this video. It was really annoying. It recorded, broke just before I recorded it. So first I've got a little tripod. This is just a useful one. Goes my phone. That goes anywhere really. A nice cheap tripod. Very good quality. Can't even remember where I bought that from. And then I've just got uh, this bad boy. I say bad boy. It's a cheap one. It's from Amazon. Um, it works well. And... Yeah, it's just an Amazon Basics tripod. Works very well. Recorded at the beginning of the video on it. Stay, stay sturdy. And I've got a phone mount on it. I paid £8 for the mount. And tripod is 15 This one was from B&M, if you're in Britain. So that's the main things that have changed. And then also, I've got a new book. It's video ideas, schedule, and all that shit and all. So this is just where I write my video ideas, what I'm doing, and then just the I order I go in with the video. So that's everything that's changed, really. Uh, as I said, the PC's still the same with the custom painting and whatever not in there. And the headset's still the same as well. That's the um, HyperX one. I can't remember the name of it. Frig. Oh, and got my Google Home. I didn't think I, I don't think I showed the Google Home last time as well. That's just next to my bed with my vitamins and stuff. That's cool. So yeah, that's how my setup has changed in the past couple of weeks. I... I've been using this setup now with the new monitor keyboard in that for a week or two. And yeah, I love it. I um, would definitely recommend the G512 keyboard. Uh, G502 Hero mouse. Best mouse I've ever used, hands down. Definitely recommend that. Monitor, I'm still getting used to it because it's such a large monitor compared to my old one. Am I even recording? Yes, I am. Yeah, it's so big compared to my old monitor, so it's going to take me a while to get used to it. I feel like I need a wider desk so I can sit further away from it. But yeah, uh, there's my new setup, so I thank you guys for watching, I'll see you next time. Just a quick one, I do have a new video, I've got three videos based on the same thing on the G213 keyboard. So first I am going to do a review on it, because I personally believe it's the best budget keyboard you can buy for a cheap price. Uh, well, we'll talk more about it in the video, I'm going to do a cleaning video on how to clean a keyboard, because as I said I've been using that particular keyboard for four years. Technically two years because I broke the first one and got a new one. So I've been using it for two years. It's not been cleaned once. So I'm going to do a cleaning video. And then I'm going to do a customization video. Because so I'm giving it to a friend. And yeah, I thought I'd customise it for them. So I'm going to do three videos with Wildman around that keyboard. Uh, budget review or best budget keyboard in quotation marks. Uh, how to clean your keyboard. And uh, how to customise the keyboard. So yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in those next uh, couple of videos. Bye.